Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Systems and Workflow Magic Podcast. I am your Systems and Workflow BFF and guide, Dolly DeLong, and today we are celebrating a milestone episode. I am so excited to share that this is episode 100 of the Systems and Workflow Magic Podcast. I feel like there should be like streamers that come down and balloons and just like all the celebration music, but episode 100 is actually a big deal and a big milestone for me. And really, I am so thrilled that I've been able to show up week after week and chat with you, the creative-minded business owner, and feature other business owners and chat about all things systems, workflows, and SOPs, and how to apply them to the back end of your business. And okay, so other news, another milestone about episode 100 is I wanted to push myself and do something new for episode 100. Um, so I'm going to start incorporating my podcast episodes. So my weekly podcast episodes to also be published on YouTube. So if you would rather see me talk through these episodes and you want to see like, what does Dolly look like? Oh boy. You're, you're in for a treat because you're going to see all my awkward facial expressions. Um, is, you're going to be in for a treat. Um, I really want it to be like we're chatting, like we're meeting at a coffee shop or we are meeting to chat about a certain strategy. So I, I really want it to be a little bit more personal and for you to come step into just like my space. I don't have a studio space. This is literally like, if you're watching this on YouTube, you should know that I work in a really small office area. So you'll see it. You'll see the real life. You'll see how my hair, like in this episode, it's, it's sticking up and I'm like, what, whatever I am doing this. I'm doing this imperfectly, but I'm still going to show up. So episode 100 is a big deal for me. It is a milestone episode. And so now I want to invite you in to, um, to tune in and listen in like you're in my office and you are chatting with me. So anyways, welcome. So I do also want to share that starting this podcast has been the best. Yes. I have said in a long time um, for in my own business journey. There have been many great yeses, but this is one of the top best yeses I've made. And honestly, I know 100 is a big thing, but I feel like I'm just getting started and hitting the tip of the iceberg with some incredible topics, all centered around helping you, the listener, um, get more streamlined on the back end of your business. Now, Believe me when I say that I wanted to start this podcast. You've, if you are an OG listener, you should know that I wanted to start this podcast in 2019. So two years before I actually um, hit publish on the first episode. Um, but it took me two years to get over my fears. It took me two years to get over the comparisonitis, I call it. Um, I still have those fears. Um, and it took me that long to hone in on the topic that I wanted to talk about and a topic that lights me up and a topic I could go on and on and on about for days and days. And that topic is is systems and workflows and SOPs and how they work together to help business owners, create, especially creative-minded business owners um, and especially creative-minded business owners who are running the show on their own. So solo business owners, to showcase how to be more strategic and with systems, workflows, SOPs, how to refine them, what maybe possible strategies to use on the back end of their business. So you see, there are so many different types of gears that run your business, like these different systems, and every business owner is different and how they operate their business. There is never, I never want you to hear me say this there or think that I'm saying there is a one size fits all approach to business because there's not. And if you are listening to someone who's trying to tell you that, maybe don't, 
don't because they're probably trying to sell you something that may not be the best fit for, for you. Like they might be like, what is that analogy where you are trying to fit a square peg into a circle, like a puzzle piece, like it's just not aligning. And that's kind of how that one size fits all mentality is. And it may not be working for you. Okay. Instead, my hope and goal with all of these episodes so far, I want you to see that through these episodes, there are many different puzzle pieces that can impact the back end of your business. And you don't have to figure out the entire puzzle yet. Like you really don't have to figure out all of life, all of your business yet, all of your life yet, but let's just like hone it down to your business. You just need to take a baby step and confidently step into one area that feels a bit chaotic, that feels a bit messy. And while you are, you know, you're like, I, I need to like do something about this one puzzle piece instead of jumping into everything and then giving up again, you know, okay, I'm finally ready to assess like what's happening in the back end of my business. And so, and while you're taking assessment of how to make it work for you and your business, in your life, because hopefully you're, you're creating a business that, that was working around your life and like it, it, it's working for you. You may assess that certain tools and strategies and systems may be useful for you. So you're like, okay, these are useful for me. Or you may look at it and be like, these are not useful. And when you truly take a step back to assess that one puzzle piece, you may discover that you may need to tear it down to build it back up in a more refined way, in a more streamlined way, because then you'll have more clarity on what is working for you. Believe me, I have had to do this time and time again with different aspects of my business. And it's hard work. It's hard work. I mean, the goal of this podcast, you now these YouTube episodes, is to give you encouragement and just like a little soft nudge to just begin implementing at least one puzzle piece to impact the back end of your business so that it can run smooth like butter, like my friend Angela Tan of the Systems RX likes to say, especially about tech and tools and systems and workflows that run the back end of your business. Like you want it to run as smooth as butter, regardless if you are doing that it or you set up a system that you it's like a hybrid of you and the system working together or it's just systems like either way like you want to take an assessment and then make sure everything runs smooth as butter and I like I literally don't want you to also think that when you work on the back end of your business you have to automate all the parts and use all the tools and use all the apps and buy all the expensive programs to make it run for you so that you can take a step back. And what is it called? What do people say? Drink a margarita on the beach. Like that's literally not, no, that's not what I'm saying. Like, I mean, there are some people who aspire to do that and that's, that's great for them. It's great on them. But for me, I want to actually understand the back end puzzle pieces of my own business before I hand it off to another person or before I even um, buy an app or a tool or a system or a program to do that for me. Like I actually want to comprehend, okay, take an assessment of this and what, what do I need to do that it's working to serve like my business, my services, my clients, not X, Y, Z, like I need to stop comparing myself to other people because I want to understand the back end puzzle pieces of my own business because it gives me clarity about where I'm going. It gives me clarity about what I need to be doing versus what I can hand off in the future. It also gives me clarity about what pieces need to be taken out of my business because I don't I I shared this early. I I don't need to run my business the way XYZ person runs their business or guru or this person who is way ahead of me or perceives to be way ahead of me. And they're telling me, this is what you need to do. Again, that one size fits all mentality. Overall, I, I want to know the pieces of my business so I can better cast a better vision for the future of my business and make more informed decisions 
that align with my values, that align with my business values. And I know that in order to look ahead for my business and to make better informed decisions, I truly have to take a step back, like the slow down to speed up mentality, but that is so hard to do. And let me be very, very clear. This is hard to do in the online space um, because everyone and everything is pressing go, go, go. Like literally we are on the go constantly. This is the fastest life has ever been <laughs> like, and it's continuing to get faster. And everyone, it seems like everyone, even the neighbor's dog is making six, seven, eight figures a minute. And everyone seems to get it. And everyone seems to be making traction. Well, like I'll use my, while well, I am just a slow tortoise who is trucking along, like, <laughs> all right. And because, but because I have chosen to slow down and assess some back end puzzle pieces, those building block puzzle pieces of my own business, it has helped me make more informed decisions on where I want to go, especially since I'm running the show. Like no one is working on this except for me. And I don't mean it as a badge of like, oh, look at me working all the time. Like, no, I, I know my work hours. I know what it takes to run my business. Like, no, I'm not sharing that to brag. Like this is just where I am right now in business. And I do want to hire out eventually in the future. So let me just be very clear on that. It's, it's just literally me. And yes, I do have mega plans for my future, but right now I do realistically know it's going to take time and strategic planning by assessing these backend building blocks. And now you may be wondering, okay, like Dolly, what are these back end building block puzzle pieces you keep referring to? And are they the magic formula? Like that's going to catapult me. Like if I hear them now, is this going to be the magic pill? Like you all know, hopefully by now that I'm pretty sarcastic when I say like things like that, the magic pill, the magic formula, the magic blueprint, like First off, that's cute if you think for real, it's a magic formula. And yes, I do make a lot of Harry Potter references on this podcast and on this YouTube channel. Um, and yes, I love making the analogies that systems and workflows and automations, like they honestly do feel like magic. But the reality is the magic is how is when you learn how everything works together. And again, that takes time. And when, when you see how things work together, it's like, wow, like this is, this all feels so streamlined. This feels automated. It, it it's clear. It just, I, I don't have to do all the things. Like I can do some of the things, but not all of the things, but that those parts take time. And so, and to answer your question about the back end puzzle pieces, the back end puzzle pieces for me are always assessing these five different categories. Okay. So the first category is time management. The second is money management or financial systems. The third is SOP assessments, so standard operating procedure assessments. The fourth is content marketing assessments. And then the fifth is email marketing assessments or systems. Now, these are the five building blocks or puzzle pieces, or if you want to call them gears that help run the back end of my business, they all work together. And if one is off, it acts like a negative domino effect on the others. Like I can literally feel it and see it sometimes play out time and time again. Like I will share this. I'll be very open and honest with you time and time again, when I sway off course from my own goals and I start listening into other people's dreams and goals of their lives, that's like their dream, their goal. And then I think, oh, I need to make that my dream, my goal. I, I need a beach house, even though I don't like the beach, I need to like, do like go to Tahiti. Even if I don't want to go to Tahiti, I'd rather go to a national park. Anyways, long, long story short, I make sometimes can make other people's dreams and goals and desires, my dreams and goals and desires because of the way they paint the picture. 
And then I think, well, if I do that, then maybe I'll be successful too. And then I get off track and those puzzle pieces are even more scattered all over the place. And so I'm sharing that to give you some encouragement and tough love. Encouragement that you are not alone as you navigate the waters of owning and operating a business on your own or with a small team, all right? Also encouragement to you to please slow down and allow yourself to take an assessment of your business, especially the back-end puzzle pieces of your business to see what is what is working and what is not working to assess the systems, so the workflows, the SOPs that are all working together to, to, to make your business a reality. Um, really, here's the tough love. Stop pushing yourself so much to keep up with whoever you are trying to keep up with or whatever like elusive like thing you are trying to keep up with because it is because the reality is if your back end like of your business <laughs> is scattered it's going to get all busted up and then you won't be able to run anything okay so slow down to speed up and I want to encourage you with some words of wisdom that an elder from my childhood once told me over lunch at his house. Like, yes, like whenever I had the opportunity, I still visit my childhood elders, like from church, my church family. Um, they played a huge part in how I grew up and I still keep in touch with them. So relationships are huge for me. And he was actually giving this advice to a friend who was sitting right next to me. And I decided when I was just listening into their conversation, cause it was like a, just a group discussion. We were just talking, catching up with life. Um, he shared with my friend he, and this is a phrase that I like instantly whipped out my phone. Like while they were, while they were talking, I was like, I have to write this down. Um, because this is either like either like I just need to remember this because this is really really true but he shared you got to blossom where you are planted and so for me like this can mean so many different things but in relation to business I I took this to mean many things but in relation to business if you truly want to enjoy your business and enjoy what you are creating. You've got to slow down. Okay, slow down and assess what is going on in the back end. So, like, you know, the foundations, the soil, um, in order to make it thrive and blossom. You may have to endure some hardship and trials and errors. You like have to weed out what's not working. You may have to like, I uproot some things and replant them and create a better foundation. And while you're doing this, you can still blossom. Even if you're not the most shiny flower on the market, you are still allowing yourself to grow and to be nurtured in the right ways. And now I'm not an expert about growing things. Okay. Like my husband is literally listening to me as I'm recording this. He's probably thinking I should come in and tell them about all the dead plants Dolly has created through the years. It's true. I don't have a green thumb, but this analogy just like really struck to me, like, like for a business analogy, you gotta like, you still got to blossom where you are planted. You can still do that, but you have to take necessary steps to do that. And overall, I just want you, the listener, the viewer, to still blossom where you are in business. You can blossom and be happy and grow and learn at the same time, but you've got to do the work on yourself, all right? I'm not just talking about yourself, your personal life. Like, yes, obviously, but I'm talking about business. Okay, so let's put on our business hats and you've got to do the work by taking a step back and assessing those foundational pieces, those foundational systems and workflows that are running your business. And you have to understand what is going on in the back end of your business, okay? You gotta stop acting like you're too dumb to figure it out. So that's why I decided for episode 100 as a milestone and celebration episode that I'm going to help you go back to basics with a free class all about how to get started with systems, workflows, and SOPs for your creative business. 
So no matter if you're listening to this episode when it airs on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube, wherever you're listening or consuming this episode, if you happen to come across this later on, then this class is going to be available for you to tune into live. Like all you have to do is head on over to the show notes of the podcast or this video and sign up for this class. It's absolutely free. Now in this class, I am covering those five back end puzzle pieces. Those are my building blocks that help me run my own business. But I refer to those puzzle pieces as the various systems, workflows, or SOPs that I'm constantly refining and fine tuning to fit the goals and needs and health for my business. And I'm pulling back the curtain for you to showcase how these five puzzle pieces work together. And honestly, I give a lot of tough love throughout the class and I just very straightforward and honest with you. And I let you know, like this takes time and real effort on your part. This is not like a, oh, if you pay me $10,000, I will I will sh- give you this formula. It's it's not that at all. This is this is not a class where I'm going to be selling you something from the get go. Like I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm literally gifting you with my brain for 90 minutes and walking you through my own systems that I have been refining. And my hope is that you can take at least one, just one of these points, and it will force you to look back at the back end of your business, to refine your processes, to impact your business. Like it would be so cool if you can do all five, but honestly, it would be wiser, okay? Wiser to just take one point and run with it because when one, at least one gear is working, then you can move on to the next gear or next foundational puzzle piece. And then when that is refined, you can move on to the next, okay? Now, I seriously believe that learning how to apply systems, workflows, and SOPs to the back end of your creative business can be incredibly empowering, and and it is liberating. Like, I know that sounds dramatic, but it feels very freeing, and as silly as it sounds, it's like unlocking a hidden treasure, like of efficiency and productivity and organization. It just like makes you feel like you truly are a wizard, even if you're a muggle, like I like to say every week. And I'm so excited to help you take more refined steps as your systems and workflow BFF and guide. And I want to remind you again that like you ultimately have the power to decide if you're going to take a step back to assess the foundations, these gears of your business, the backend systems of your business, or you can just continue to forge ahead and let life happen to the back end of your business and just continue to like pay other people, like throw out money and just be like, let them figure it out. I need to like quote unquote, scale my business. I need to be the CEO of my business. Like there is a time and place for that. But like, if you are not assessing, especially the financial aspects of your business, how can you know, like if throwing money at a problem will solve it or it might make it worse. So I want to encourage you to take a step back and assess. I don't want you to continue to chase like shiny object after shiny object, because honestly, I myself know it's easy to pursue that shiny object. And it's easy just to think, well, this is the, this is the solution to all of my problems because it's actually harder to take a step back and have a real reality check. Um, it's hard work and it's tough and there's, it's, it just, it sometimes feels grueling and that's, that's the unsexy part of running your own business. There's lots of hard things. People don't want to talk about that. People would rather just showcase their all their milestones and their ten thousand million dollar day. And I just made up that number, but I'm just I'm just sharing with you. Like I want to showcase the good and the not so fancy parts of running a business, and. This may seem ambitious, like about, you know, like taking a step back and assessing all of like these gears of your business, but aren't you at all curious to see if like integrating like systems, workflows, SOPs will work for the back end of your business? Like, let's say you 
are brand new to business, you're excited and you have no idea what I'm talking about when I'm talking about systems and workflows and SFPs, you're like, what are you talking about? Is this for me? Like, check it out. It's a free class. So if you're ready to take a step back and honestly, honestly assess your own puzzle pieces, I want you to I want to invite you to the class now. Uh, the link is in the show notes of this podcast episode. And also the link is going to be in the YouTube show notes as well. So thank you so much for joining me on episode 100. I cannot wait to see what the next 100 episode will hold for me so that I can better serve you, the listener. And until then, have an extremely streamlined and magical week, you amazing muggle you. Bye.